here we are outside trimming the hedges and I started thinking about the fall feasts, the feasts of the Lord, the feasts of Israel, and how those are the last three feasts of seven that are celebrated throughout the year that are very meaningful. And they all concern things that are historical, things that are practical, things that are symbolical and prophetical. And all of the feasts that were celebrated in the Old Testament were a foreshadowing. And I think sometimes we put too much importance on the shadow and not enough importance on the substance. See, over to my left, you see my shadow cast on the building behind me, our home. But I hope that I'm more important to you than the shadow. I hope that my wife has more affection for me than the shadow. She's shaking her head no right now. Well, we'll discuss that later. But the shadow just gives you the bare outline of what you can see with the substance of who I am. And see, in the Old Testament, you had Passover, where the blood of a lamb was over the doorposts and the side posts of their homes. That was all a foreshadowing of the Lamb of God to come who took away the sins of the world. The substance is infinitely more important than the shadow. And now we're coming up on the Feast of Tabernacles, which was a reminder of the historical passage through the wilderness where the children of Israel dwelt in tabernacles and where God himself tabernacled among them behind the veil in the Holy of Holies, the glory cloud resting on the ark. But all of that foreshadowed the Son of God coming into this world, God tabernacling among us and the glory of God resting on him. That substance is infinitely more important than the shadow. And so it's important to celebrate the foreshadowing rituals and ceremonies, but let's not forget the substance is what is most important.